Hey guys, it's Susan from Tama Gems. I love the colors of abalone. I think they're so vibrant and beautiful. So I've had this abalone pendant in my stash for a while and I've been wanting to make something with it. So I think I'm going to make something that's adjustable. So you can wear this as a choker, you can wear it as a regular length necklace, or you can even wear it as a long pendant necklace. So I hope you like this and let me show you how to do this. I'm cutting 42 inches of suede and this is a dark gray color. Using a three inch head pin, I'm going to take my abalone and go right through the bottom up to the top and then I'm going to wire wrap the top. So I'm going to take my chain nose pliers, pinch it down to the back. Come in with my round nose pliers. I'm gonna make a fairly large loop, so I'm gonna go in the middle of my pliers. I'm gonna come up, over, down, rotate, and bring the wire to the back. I'm gonna straighten out my loop. I'm gonna remove my round nose pliers pinch down the loop that I just made and open the door. Then I'm gonna slide my bail on right through my loop. Coming back in with my chain nose pliers, I'm gonna use my bent chain nose pliers and wire wrap around. Then I'm going to cut the excess wire off. And pinch down my burr. I'm going to take my abalone pendant and go right through it, bringing it down to the center of my suede. Now what I'm going to do is take one end and I'm going to add my component. Pull that through. And I'm going to make a knot right here. Then what I'm gonna do is go to the opposite side, get the same component, put that through, slide it up and make a knot on this side. Then I'm going to add my next component right next to the knot that I just made. If you have trouble getting your suede through your hole, you can use your scissors and cut some of it off at an angle and it should slide right through. And then you can grab it at the end and pull it.
Okay, let me do the other side. I'm gonna angle this with my scissors. Making sure this is the same one. I'm gonna add another one. This is a, a larger barrel. Let me put this on this side too. Okay, now what I can do is I can either knot it here or I can finish it with another smaller tube and then knot it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to knot it. So spacing this out a little, I'm going to go ahead and put two knots, one here and one here. I think that's good spacing. And then tighten it up a little. The same for this one. Give it a little space in between. Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna tighten this up. And now what I do is look at it to see if I wanna add more silver components up at the top. Let me get this a little bit closer. Okay, what I'm gonna do is add one more component on each side. So I'm going with the plain barrel, which is the same as the first one. I'm going to bring it up to the knot and now I'm going to form a knot. And let's do the other side. Okay, now that I have this completed, I'm going to put this together and I'm going to end my necklace. So what I'm going to do is actually use a silicone stopper. So I'm going to go ahead and put one side through. And then I'm going to make sure that this is at a really sharp angle. And I'm going to fit the other side through. So now I have an adjustable length necklace with my silicone stopper at the back. I put a bead at the very end, and then I'm going to tie a knot here. Same with this one. And tie a knot. And there we have our beautiful abalone necklace. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for joining me. See you again next time.